Shark nets installed off the north coast of New South Wales have killed more dolphins than they've trapped sharks, a result that's being described as devastating and tragic. The nets were installed on a trial basis after a string of shark attacks in the area. They're meant to keep swimmers and surfers safe, but these are the unintended consequences of the shark nets off the north coast. We've caught very few sharks and we've in fact caught more dolphins and killed more dolphins than we have target species sharks. It, it's a tragedy really. The full extent of the bycatch is now apparent. The final figures from a trial of the shark nets show 420 marine animals were caught over the past two summers. Among those killed were eight dolphins, nine turtles, 34 protected hammerhead sharks and more than 100 rays. Only 11 targeted sharks were caught. We lost eight dolphins during the trial. There are only 60 in our local Richmond River pod. Um, this is devastating. The nets were first rolled out at five beaches between Lennox Head and Evans Head after an unprecedented spate of attacks. As the tourist dollars dried up, the state government was forced to act. The place was just scarce and I had surfboard makers and people in cafes and that saying, look, we've got to do something about it. There have been no attacks while the nets have been in the water, but some who campaigned for them now believe there's a better way. Veteran surfer Don Munro says smart drum lines which hook sharks but allow them to be tagged and released are more effective. They remember that and it would seem that a lot of them are moving offshore. The state government will now weigh up the scientific data and the results of community surveys before deciding on a shark strategy for the future. Bruce McKenzie, ABC News, Ballina.